Uh, our friend here is about to get stuck, though. <laughs> Who are you? You are Rebecca Vasquez. Hey, Rebecca Vasquez, 53-year-old builder. Man, you've been in the game for a very long time, haven't you? These people look like potato heads, by the way. I love it. What is going on? Everybody, welcome to another brick in the mall. I'm your host of this evening, the Birdman, Notice Falcon. Uh, this right here is indeed a shopping center simulator. Really, really fun game, really in-depth. You are in control of everything about this game. What you're going to be supplying for the customers, building parking lots, building different stores, cleaning the floors. As you can see right now, we have to hire a couple of janitors because our place is completely filthy here at the moment. This is not our save file. We'll be starting something new here, but this is actually a preloaded save that comes with the game that the developers wanted us to show off to give you an idea as to how big of a scale this shopping center simulator is. So without further ado, let me zoom on out over here. As you can see, really, really huge, and the game runs perfectly as well, so there's no, like, big impact on performance because of the scale of the game itself. So over here we have, like, a shopping center of some kind. Over here we have a parking lot, so we have a couple of other stores. You'll be able to build, like, fast food areas, um, build your little, um, I guess, places to watch some movies, cinemas, and stuff like that. Really, really fun. So without further ado, let me get into the game over here, or actually go back to the main menu would be more ideal, and we'll start off something new over here. If you enjoy this, let me know in the comments, and by leaving a like, and I'll probably consider keeping this around the channel, I'm kind of itching to play a simulator game, and this is very similar to Prison Architect, at least the gameplay style. If you played Prison Architect, I think you'll find yourself really comfortable with this game over here. So let's go into New Game. We'll be starting with the tutorial just so in case you're new to this type of game, you have an idea what I'm doing. You're not a little bit too lost over here. So we'll go and start with tutorial. We'll also start with $200 or $200. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to build an entire shopping complex with only $200. Imagine that. Uh, normal research sounds fine and normal builder sounds just about fine. Let's get into the game over here. Alrighty, hello and welcome. You have somehow inherited this massive land. Regional planning, however, forbids residential or industrial zoning in the area. Commercial is your only option. Let's have a look around. Use WASD, right, right, right. Use, we'll ask we go to zoom in and zoom out. The basic stuff, nothing over here to, too important for us to read. This short tutorial will walk you through opening your first business. Let's get started. Okay, we need to build the foundations first. Go into build mode and select foundations in the drop down menu. Uh, right now the game's playing in real time, so it's not really a big deal. So we're going to build and we have foundations already selected. And we want to have our very first store right about here. So we'll go ahead and do this right here. This should look very familiar to you if you played um, Prison Architect. Maybe even RimWorld as well, which is, you know, kind of like the similar type of like mainframe, I suppose. Uh, perfect. Now we have to wait for the foundations to be finished before we can build further. You can speed up time with the fast forward button. Uh, you can click on this or you can hit number one to pause the game, two to go in real time, three, four fast and four for super fast. I have a really big thing where I always try to pause games with the space bar. But in this game, when you hit spacebar, you zoom out all the way to the center of the map. So it's one of those things that I have issues with at this game here, but I got to get comfortable with the idea of one, two, three and four up here. Anyway, this seems to be just about built. Uh, our friend here is about to get stuck, though. <laughs> Who are you? You are Rebecca Vasquez. Hey, Rebecca Vasquez, 53-year-old builder. Man, you've been in the game for a very long time, haven't you? These people look like potato heads, by the way. I love it. Anyway, you're going around to finish that up? Perfect. Uh, let's speed it on up here. Great. Now we need a, a place to get it inside this um, structure, right? So we need a couple of doors. We'll go into build. We'll go into objects, if I'm correct here. And we'll go into double doors. This will cost us 1000 each. But again, we have 73 173000 to start off with, or as I normally said it beforehand, $173 left from the $200 that we started off to build an entire shopping center over here. So we'll build this double door through here, and we also need a staff door for our workers to pass through and not the regular paying customers. And we also have to build a wall to split up our storage area and the actual storefront itself. So we'll go down into, let's see... We want to go into walls, if I'm correct, and we will place these bad boys through here. And we also need another staff door, so it's a lot easier for my people to restock without having to go all the way around for restocking. Because that would just be silly. Let's be honest here, that would just be completely silly. I've worked retail before, I would shoot myself if I had to do that. I already hated going through the storefront to the back room to restock. I mean, if I had to go outside and all the way around, I'd be like, no, nah, no. Nah. Sorry, my friend, I'm out of here. So let's go into another staff door right through here. Excellent. So that's already going to be set up pretty soon. Uh, now we assign a function to the rooms. Go into assign mode and select storage in the list. So we'll go into assign over here. We'll go into storage. And this over here is indeed my storage area. And we'll do the same with over here with a storefront. Like so. 
And I guess you could also rename these areas, like, you know, to give you an idea, like, hey, this is my store for power tools, tampons. Let me tell you, there's actually an item, uh, you could sell tampons, that's the reason why I bring it up. It sounds a little bit off the wall, sure, but this is another brick in the mall of the wall. Ah, okay, whatever. Cheesy jokes aside. Um, so that's done. Now we have to build a couple of shelves to actually display our product. So we'll go into build. And at the moment, this wants me to build regular shelves and a couple of food shelves. Alrighty, so we have different shelves over here. We have food, which would let you put in liquor, soda, candies, bottled water. A couple of these will be locked. You have to research different items as you go forward, have to unlock different licenses, so on and so forth. So right now we have to have a couple of shelves up here. So we'll do bam, bam, bam. We'll go into food shelf and we'll go bam, bam, bam. Man, we're just bamming a lot right now. I'm like Bam Bam Bigelow. And we also need to build a checkout counter as well. Okay. Obviously, people have to pay for the products that are coming in here to grab. It's funny because if you don't actually have the counters or people working while you open your store up for the business or for the public to come in, they will actually grab items and steal and just flee. It's really hilarious. I did that by mistake, but I was laughing about it. All right. So you will need to set products to sell on your shelves, right? So I was going to select over here. Now, at the moment, we're kind of limited to what we can sell, but as we mentioned, with more research down the line, you'll actually be able to sell more different items and actually see through the finance menus exactly what the demand might be. But I guess we'll... No, you can see it right now. So you'll see the needs of people. So fast food is a really huge need, and we are not supplying it. Movies, kind of a big need. Sodas, bottled water, beer. If it was my world, beer would be, like, completely maxed out over here, but that's just me. Um, anyway... Over here, we have to sell a couple of products. You kind of want to diversify to start off with because you have a couple of tasks here, like sell 10 different items of one kind to get a, a reward. So you might want to diversify. Not diversify early on. So over here, let's go with, let's see, set product for the shelf. We have diapers, toilet paper, and pads and tampons, as I mentioned. You know what? Let's do that. Let's actually cater a little bit to that. We'll go with diapers. And we'll go with some uh, pads and tampons and the final product over here. I, I like to be a scumbag sometimes and do like, you know, diapers and tampons. And then at the end, I'll just put in like fucking power tools or something, which you can't sell tools over here. Car tools. So you have like a bunch of like, you know, males and like, you know, females either, you know, um, recently given birth or, you know, probably on the verge of giving birth over here, like together, just mingling, like, it's kind of like, oh, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, just buying a couple of tools. What about you? Oh, you know, just buying diapers for my soon to pop baby. Anyway, or you could have some toys, little kids and stuff, right? Anyway, uh, let's go with um, cookware. Sounds pretty good to me. Okay. I'm over here just kind of like jib jamming away about it, but it's, it's kind of like funny to kind of really visualize what the people in your stores are actually chit-chatting about and how awkward the situations might be. So over here we have to set up some food. Um, let's go with soda. I prefer to have like the refrigerated sodas and waters, but for now it's not a big deal. Actually, you know what? It is a big deal. Let's set up only nothing but food here. I'll set up some refrigerated areas for our drinks here pretty soon. So we'll do like candies. I think candies is pretty good. We'll also set up some snacks, and we'll also set up some cookies. That seems like a really good aisle for just about everything that's kind of similar to one another. Over here, we'll come over and set up some... Um, let's do... Let's do coffee and tea. We'll also put some canned food along with that. Pet food? No, not pet food. We'll put canned food, and we'll also set up maybe sliced bread or breakfast cereal. I think breakfast cereal sounds pretty good for that aisle. Okay. We need to have a loading zone for deliveries. Go into the build mode and select Roadwork in the drop-down menu. You got it, my friend. So we'll go into build, and we need to look for Roadwork, and we need a loading zone right over here. Excellent! We need to associate our storage with our store. Go into manage mode and select your store in the list. Click on the zone tab. So we'll come into manage. This here at the moment is, um, let's see, storage number one. And we want to go ahead and, let's see... Go into the Zone tab, set desired storage load, and eh, we'll do that pretty soon. Let's go into the store, and we want to assign the storage to that store right here. So basically everything in the storage is um, linked to the store right here. So that's been done. Uh, let's see, Maintenance Center, that's over here just chilling out, hanging out. And storage sounds relatively good. And that's about it, I want to say, correct? So we've done that. Let's see, we have to hire a cashier and all that, or the jazz, but we'll do that pretty soon. So... Mm. That's the storage I want associated with that. Okay.
Last step before we can open in manage mode, select your store in the list, click on the staff tab. We have to hire some people, obviously, because the store is not going to run itself because I told you people will actually steal if no workers are around. I guess at some point you could probably hire security guards, too, which is something I'm looking forward to. Let's go into hire cashier and let's see who's available here. Um, now, mind you, you'll start off with some terrible workers. If you want to get better workers and even more people to hire, you want to build roads out of town so you have more people potentially coming out of town to, you know, want to work for your shopping center in general. Uh, let's see. So right now, cashiers are pretty terrible, I'm going to say. They're all really, really minimal. Um, they're all in the red, honestly. You're speedy. Your patience is kind of like really subpar, and you're not sociable at all, so you'll be pissing people off. Um, honestly, I think the best one seems Sally Beck, and that's even a stretch calling it the best one. Really low patience, so, you know, she might flip her wig pretty soon if people start, like, you know, asking too many questions, but so be it. We'll go with Sally Beck over here, and we also need to hire a store clerk to actually fill in our shelves right so for this one let's see it all of the people available are terrible as i mentioned uh <laughs> wow this is a this is a really terrible set of people to hire um i guess we'll go with alicia newton at least she has speed on her side but everything else is terrible okay oh, again she's actually a store clerk just filling out shelves so i don't think she has to be too sociable so maybe speed and patience is probably the best one so we'll go with her right here and that's done. Congratulations on opening your first business. Here are some tips for a smooth expansion. Your parking lot will fill up very quickly. Build more customer parking lots to accommodate more visitors. The default store opening hours are unambitious. Manage your store to open earlier and close later. You will also need to hire cashiers to work those hours. Offering a greater diversity of products will attract a lot more customers. Research projects to unlock highly sought products such as fresh food, clothes, or alcohol. Now you're talking my game. Finally, having multiple businesses will take your will make your customers stay on site and spend a whole lot more. Research and build restaurants, bowling alleys, and movie theaters to the number one destination for nearby shoppers. Alrighty, cool. And now we're basically left to the wolves. Manage for yourself. And this is where you have to get a bit more creative, as I mentioned. Okay. So let's see here. Uh, the first thing I would like to do is set up a couple of store hours as we work here during the night. So let's go into manage, I want to say. And here is what we're looking for. At the moment, we're opening up at 9. You have to research um, midnight hours. Like, after 12 o'clock, you have to research, like, being open past midnight. So, that's something we won't be able to do here for now. So, I think the earliest we could have people come in is going to be... That can't be right, if I'm correct. Let me... Hold up. Let me set the store hours first. One second. So, we have to go over to... Here we go. Reassign storage. So, or not that, but opening hours. The furthest we could go is 6 in the morning, and the latest we could go is actually... 24 hours. Now, this would open up the store right now, which is actually not good. So I'm going to hold off. Hey, don't come in here to shop. Okay, you're a worker. That's fine. We're not open. Believe me. Don't be fooled by the lights being on here at the moment. We'll set up the 24-hour thing once, or not 24 hours the entire day, but we'll set up the time for 24 once we have um, beyond that point and we have to worry about people coming in. So we're going to open up at 6 in the morning. So what we have to do now is go into staff and make sure that our clerk is coming in at 6, maybe even an hour prior because you have to account for traffic, illnesses, calling out of work, stuff like that. So um, Alicia Newton, she's our store clerk. Let's deal with Sally Beck first and let's have her come in. A little bit right before 5. It's probably best this way. You don't want to make sure... Uh, maybe it's 6, huh? Mm, we'll try it this way, and then we'll try it out the other way and see which one works better, if there's any overlap at all. So we'll go with, like, maybe an hour prior, so she, if she's late by any chance, we don't have to worry about nobody in the store. So we'll go with that one. I probably have to hire another cashier for the later hours, so let's also go ahead and pick up... Mm, wow. Again with these terrible people, huh? I guess the best one over here is going to be Eric Rubio. So, Eric Rubio, I'm going to hire you as well. And let's also go ahead and hire one more store clerk so they could deal with the late night uh, restocking as well. Let's see. Store clerk, everybody's terrible. No surprise. I'll just go with speed, I guess, which is the highest one we could do here. Very low patience, so he's going to flip his shit pretty fast, too. Cody Salas. Okay, there we go. So now, let's go into... Um, we're almost, let me speed up time here so that we're beyond the 24 hours that we could be open that, and there it is, perfect. So, let me just pause momentarily here so I get my head straight. So, Sally, no, we're looking for the hours. So, we want to be open up into 24 hours now, so that's perfect. Again, we'll research 0 through 5, or at least 1 through 5, pretty soon. Uh, let's see, we'll go into staff now, and the way I want to work this out is Sally back. Actually, let me go into my second cashier, Eric Rubio. So, Rubio, 
you will come down this way. Perfect. That is the perfect layout I'm looking for then. Essentially, what's going to be happening right now is that we'll only have one cashier per shift. Um, if I see that there's a lot of like demand and a lot of people waiting in line, we might hire somebody else for the next days. But right now, we'll just start off with one and see how that plays out for us because, you know, we're... We're relatively new. We have to kind of build our business up here. So that's actually pretty decent. Uh, in terms of our stock clerk, uh, Alicia, let's have you start off again at five, maybe. And then Cody Salas, you will start off right here. Perfect. So we have a pretty decent setup now for our time schedule. Uh, let's go and unpause. And we'll probably start forwarding here pretty soon to get into our very first day. We have indeed set up what we want in these shelves. So it's only a matter of my... Clerk's coming in here and probably restocking. As a matter of fact, I should probably have... You know what? I will. Let's have Alicia Nino. Let's call her in a little bit earlier so that she could... Oh, wait. I can't, right? Oh, I can. She could come in earlier. It's only the cashiers you have to worry about the, the store opening. Because she she could be here before the store opens. It's that you can't actually sell before the store opens. So let's actually have her coming at 4 and start filling out the... The shelves two hours before the store actually opens. So we actually have product in the shelves when people come in for the morning. So I think that works out pretty good. And we'll have like an hour downtime between workers for, you know, filling up the shelves. But I don't think it's a bad idea. Okay, that's cool. So that's done with over here. Let's go into fast speed. Uh, the other thing I could do meanwhile is let's go into build. And let's go into objects. I would like to get a couple of drinks in here. So let's do... Uh, I'm looking for... Have we even opened it up? We should have, like, a, a thing for fridge. There we go. So, fridge, I'll have... Uh, we'll place one here and another one right there. There you go. So, my stock dude is here early to start working. Perfect. Very nice, guys. And we'll have somebody over here build this pretty soon. Let's go into regular time. So, my cashier is here. Very, very good. Let's make sure that we're actually filling these things with some items, though. So, we'll go into sodas and bottled waters. Works out for me pretty well. Okay. And we're about to start opening up here pretty soon. Just hang out, you know, just um, fix the counter area, make sure it's clean. Alrighty, there we go. And we're actually open for business here today. And we have a relatively dashing looking individual, nice haircut, Stan Luna. He is a clothes addict. So, again, we want to make sure we're paying attention to what their needs are so we can actually start building for that in the future. But at the moment, we have to kind of like slowly build, the, you know, um, research the, the cinemas, the bowling alleys, the clothing stores, etc., etc. And this guy, when his eyes pop out with the hearts, that means that he's really enjoying what we have over here to offer. So that means that we're actually meeting the demand that they're looking for here at the moment. So that's actually pretty decent. Alrighty. So I'm going to wrap it up here. This is just barely an introduction, as I mentioned. Down here, we'll tell you about the research. So um, the first thing we're going to focus on, I think, is cold chain because this gives you access to fast food. And we want to have some fast food joints here pretty soon. It'll bring in more people, have them spend more time at the shopping center and spend more money, which is always pretty good. I'm going to pause right here. As I mentioned, if you want to see some more of this, do let me know in the comments and by leaving a like. And we'll continue covering this down the line. I really do enjoy this, so I hope you guys do as well. I will catch you next time.